Well, listen, as I, as I speak to you tonight, folks, uh, just try to give you a little bit of background of, of why I'm here. Uh, because uh, I'm just like Tommy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a, as you know, I'm a football coach. Next year will be my 52nd year of college coaching. 52nd year. Uh, I have to. I have to feel very lucky. Now, as I come here and talk to you, th there is nothing uh, uh, greater. I th that I could say to you, I think, than to tell you what I believe. Uh, I can't tell you what you believe, I don't know you. You know, I don't know what you believe. Uh, uh, I know what I believe. And so about the only thing I'm good for is to stand before you and give you a testimony of what I believe with all my heart and what I would be willing to die for. I would be willing to die for what I believe, you know. Like Tommy, like Tommy Silva, I went to my, now I ain't homesick. You know? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't no hurry now, you know. Be, 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 go easy, you know. But, but the, the best thing I can do for you, and I, I would think you would want to hear my story, not, you know, not me try to tell you your story. And here's kind of the way my life went. Number one, I was very l lucky to be born, have a, mo a mother and a father. Now, folks, as I'm coaching nowadays, uh, most of my kids hadn't got a family. I mean, most of my players don't have a family. You know, they might have a mother, but most of the daddies are missing. And those boys need a daddy. You see what's happening here in our country? We're raising boys that are raised by their mothers. You wonder why they're not tougher? You wonder why they're not tougher? You know? The mother wakes them up in the morning. The mother cooks their breakfast, which is normal. The mother gets them dressed. The mother takes them to school. The mother picks them up after the school. The mother takes them to football practice. The mother brings them back home. The mother cooks supper. The mother puts them to bed. The mother reads her Bible if, if, if she does or prays. Mother, she does it all, see? So that's the way he's raised. So he grows up. He grows up and wants to be a man just like his mama. You ever wonder why they wear earrings? <laughs> I can't say nothing about that. All my players wear earrings. <laughs> Oh boy, but uh, it, you know that 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 is the truth. Is you know, if, like I say, you've been coaching as long as I have. You lived through as many generations as I have. I coached in the fifties. I coached in the sixties. I coached in the seventies. I coached in the eighties. I coached in the nineties. Now I'm coaching in two thousands. So I've really seen changes, haven't I? I've really seen changes, you know. But the, one of the biggest changes is the kids, boys that I get are raised, and as maybe there's not a male figure in the home, you know. So man, let let's really be let's 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 get with that, you know. Let's fight. You know, young, young married couples now, young married couples nowadays, they, they give up too quick. They give up too quick, you know. And, and instead of it, it, marriage is a, is a battle, ain't it? Marriage is a fight, man. You know, every day you've got to, you, you, you know, you've got to, you, you've got to patch things up, you know. But that's the way it is, man. But, uh, boy, you get my age, you, you sure are glad you stayed married, boy, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway.